68 feet. That's the height of the newest mural to grace LSU campus. A towering height, sure, and all to match the mighty impact of the man it's all for. When Julian T. White first arrived at LSU campus to take the architect's license exam, he was told he would have to take the exam in a side room separate from the white architects. He complied and passed the exam to become the second black architect to earn a license in the state. But he was just getting started. That room became his office when he came back to be a professor. And I think it was a, not a badge of honor for him, that, that the absurdity of it all, and he's gonna rise above it. Tom Safranco is the Associate Dean of Architecture at LSU Today, who says he owes a great deal to his mentor in architecture and friend in life, Professor Julian White, who not only shared his knowledge of architecture with his students, but guided Safranco in how he would lead the department one day. He was always incredibly patient in giving of his time, and it was, it, it, again, it just struck the right chord in me, and I'm like, oh, okay, take notes, this is the way, this is the way to behave, this is, this is how you run things. The three-story mural now hangs in the atrium bearing Professor Julian's name to remind Safranco and the LSU community of the man who opened so many doors, both tangible and intangible. Robert Dafford, the Lafayette-born muralist, known for his work all over the world, was excited for the opportunity to honor such a man. We are painting a mural of, about a memorial for Rosemary Clooney, who is from here. He discussed the project without taking a break from another mural he's painting currently in Kentucky. He opened doors, and I made a very literal interpretation of that, uh, portraying uh, all kinds of cultural people opening doors to all kinds of cultural students and teachers and others who followed. Beginning his art career around the same time Julian became a professor, Dafford says he witnessed racism firsthand growing up in Lafayette. He says to him, the mural was a way of fighting against the culture he was raised in. But the mural wasn't logistically simple either. Painting all 68 feet was no easy task in spring of 2020, as COVID-19 was tightening its grip on the world. We realized it was coming and we really worked hard on it. Friday to finish it, got out of Baton Rouge Saturday afternoon, and then the uh, university was shut down completely on the Monday. But the work paid off, according to Dean Safranco. In the top picture, I could still, I could still picture that jacket that had the patches on the uh, on the elbows. That I don't think it was a fiction either. I think it was a worn out elbow that had a legitimate patches on it, and um, you know. He, couldn't have been uh, more at home on a university campus. And now that LSU students are back on campus full time, they are finally getting to share their space with Professor Julian T. White in some small 68 foot way once again. For Tiger TV, this is Wilton Landry.